My husband just came up to me and said that he likes my antenna. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a very exciting video, one that I have been working on for a few months now. This is going to be my updated beauty room tour. I guess you can call it a tour. Back in June, me and my husband bought our first house and it was a three bedroom, so we got our bedroom and then we each had our own room to renovate and kind of do whatever we wanted with. And I knew in the back of my head I needed to have an office space because I work from home sometimes. And so I was like, you know, if I'm gonna have an office, I might as well like turn it into my beauty storage room as well. Everybody else has a makeup room, I might as well get one as well. So I do a lot of freelancing work on the side as a makeup artist and I have quite a bit of makeup and supplies that I needed to store as well as have like my separate space to do like work for my other job so I thought I would combine the two and kind of set it up like very me very like you know I can come in here and sit down and relax and just de-stress I have a little bit of footage from when we first got the room to now it's a huge dramatic change when we got this room it was dirty it was painted super crazy colors the carpet was in pretty bad condition which I haven't replaced the carpet but I did do a lot to the carpet and of course my room is still a work in progress it's just gonna take me some time to generate some ideas for the room save up the money to fix like the carpet and stuff I wanted to show you guys where it is now and um, yeah I'm super excited a lot of my furniture and my decorations are also from Amazon during this video if I'm going over something I'll kind of say like I'll put things down in the description box below but I will do my best to find the links to some of my equipment and my furniture so that if you guys are interested in like looking into maybe getting it for yourself it will all be listed down there for your convenience so I'm gonna stop rambling just keep watching if you're interested don't forget to subscribe before you leave today and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. So this is the beginning to remodeling my quote unquote babe cave is what I like to call it. Um, this is me cleaning the windows. The windows were, I mean, let's just be honest. The whole room was completely nasty. Um, the windows had like a black film over them and the carpet was really dirty, needed vacuumed, baseboards needed cleaned. So I had to borrow my mom's steaming rug thing and I had to go through and carpet clean everything. The walls to the room were this really ugly teal color with green and orange stripes across the top. You will kind of get some glimpses of that during the video. But I painted the walls a light gray color. It's called Touch of Gray by uh, Glidden. And I swear, you guys, I went through like three gallons of paint just on this room. And this paint is like a primer and paint all in one. So you shouldn't have to do more than like maybe one coat. But it took me like a week to get this done because I was so busy at work too. But So you can see the stripes on the wall here. Um, this is, I'm just going through and trimming out everything. Painting is the absolute worst. I hated this process. Just a quick update. I am out of paint at the moment, so I have to go buy more paint tomorrow. But I have two walls completely done. This wall is like half done, and then this wall to the side with the window still needs pretty much like everything painted on it. I bought all of my furniture off of Amazon, so I purchased this desk chair. Uh, I can't remember the company name, but I'm sure if you just type in white desk chair, it'll pop up somewhere. And I also bought my desk from Amazon, which I'm really glad I didn't film me doing the desk because that I could not get that bitch together. It took me like two hours to build the desk. I kept doing it wrong, and I didn't have my husband to help me, so that was that was not fun, and I wouldn't want you guys to have to cringe through that whole situation. And for my backdrops in my videos and my photos, I found a girl on YouTube who, and I'll put her video down below, but she actually did a headboard for her bed 
with fairy lights and sheer curtains. So I thought that would be a really good idea for my backdrops. Um, you can see my husband's helping me with like the really tall parts, but I went through and had to do that a couple times as well to get it right. At some points it was too tall, some points it was too short, and I really just wanted to get it perfect so I didn't have to redo it in the future. When we first moved in, I had all of my beauty products literally shoved into a moving box. So this is the point where I was just kind of unpacking and throwing things onto my vanity. So it got super cluttered and every day I was getting ready for work too. So they were all over the place. And this, so this is just me putting everything away. This kit, I had just gotten done doing a wedding. So I was unpacking all of that as well. Okay, we're recording, we're live. And we'll start over here. I'm not gonna do super in-depth of what I've got. I'm just gonna do like a really quick overview of everything. So this is my makeup vanity. Sorry, I have snacks out. Here is my makeup vanity. I have, these are Alex drawers from Ikea. This is a tabletop and legs from Ikea as well. My vanity, my husband actually built for me. He just went to the lumber store and got the wood. He did the electrical wiring inside of it for the vanity lights. Up here, I don't I have a random washcloth. And I've got this cute little sign from my best friend. She bought that for me. Then I have these acrylic organizers from Amazon. Same with the brush holders, those are also from Amazon. And then over here I have all of my hair care products. You can see I love Not Your Mother's brand because it's cruelty free and it's cheap. And I've got in my Alex drawers, this is where I keep like all my makeup. It's very unorganized. So I don't wanna go through all of that with you. Back in the corner here, this is where I keep my jewelry stand. And it's so unorganized, you guys. I hardly ever wear jewelry, so whatever I have in here is just thrown in here. And from a few years ago when we moved, my husband taped this to keep all of this shut. So there's tape residue all over it, which really sucks because it's a bitch to try and get off. But that is my, <laughs> it's so old too, but it's really cute. Up top, these shelves, as you guys saw in the beginning, they did come already in the room. I haven't figured out anything like really cute to do up there yet. So I just have a couple candles. That is my like Morphe brush holder and then I've just got a random hat for Marisa's. And then down here I've got a mirror that I actually found and got for free. My curtains are from Walmart. They're just really cheap ones. And then the curtain rod is from Big Lots. And then as you can see, there's shelving on each side of this wall. So up here I've got more candles, some pictures, I've got some magazines in here, Ikea, Vogue got a coloring book over there you know we got to de-stress you guys you feel me I've got my ring light sitting here and then this is my desk area so this is where I actually come in and work and edit my videos I've got a television here so I can hook up to uh, the dish network and watch like TV while I'm editing or what you know whatever I need to do and then over here I've got my influencer box that I just got in the mail got some planners over here this is a little thing I keep all my SD cards in. And I think my Fitbit's in there as well. And then here I'm, I should be keeping some pencils and pens, but they keep disappearing because someone keeps stealing them. I've got some business cards and then a random junk. But this is all from Amazon. This chair is from Amazon as well as the desk. I will try to find them and put the links in the description box in case you guys are liking it and want to check it out for yourself. And then the lamp here, I just bought this from Walmart. They've got this cute floral print out right now. They've got it in a bed set and pillows and lampshades. So I went ahead and I got that. I really like it because it has a USB port so you can charge your phone there. And then moving on next to my desk is my 8 cube from Ikea. This has just a bunch of storage in the whole thing. So up top here, I've got two of my more expensive perfumes. 
and I've got this like glass tray from Bath and Body Works. Got this cute picture, this little thing's from Ikea, I believe, some fake flowers, and then I have another one of these Velcro things, and I don't have any, oh, I've got my Fitbit stuff in that one. Okay, so I've got something in there, but that's more for like decoration. Right here I have this basket from Target, it just has some lotions, body sprays, and like body powders in here. Uh, this has a bunch of like empty makeup bags from like your Ipsy Glam stuff. Here I've got my travel bag with all my toiletries and extra um, like soaps and things for when I have to go on like trips. I just grab that and go, it's super easy. I've got all my hair stuff in here, my hair extensions, my hot tools. Down here is, I need to get an organizer for all this still, but this is all of my um, nail polish. I've got my white fur rug, and then I have my glitter backgrounds for my um, Instagram posts. And here is tons of nail care stuff. What are you doing? You wanna be famous? Do you wanna be famous? <laughs> This is just a silicone oven mitt and I actually got this from an idea to clean my brushes on in the sink. Um, you know, I just didn't have the money, but I needed something easier than like, what, I don't know, I had nothing else to wash my brushes with. And then the last basket here is literally a bag full of makeup and skincare samples. Like, I have so much crap in here that I still don't really even know, like, <laughs> I don't even know what I have. Like, I have full-size lawn comb products in here and L'Oreal hair care. I need to really go through this. I wonder if this would make for, like, an interesting video to, like, go through all of the samples that I have. Probably not. And over in this corner, I really wanted to have like a little lounge space in my room. And I kind of toyed with the idea of taking the closet doors off for a while and putting something back in there. But I really needed the storage and I didn't want it to be showing. So I went ahead and I just kind of decorated this corner here. It's not super like matching or anything, but I'm okay with it because I'm really the only one that sits in here. So down here at the bottom, I bought this white fur rug off of Amazon. And like I said, I'll try to find everything and put it in the description box below. But I got this rug from Amazon. I also got the gray moon chair. This is an afghan that my late grandmother made for me. And I've always loved it. It's really warm and comfortable. So I wanted to display it in here. And this is just a throw pillow. I don't really know where it's from. And then I've got my little footstool here. This is just from Walmart and it the top opens so you can throw some junk in there, which is what I have in there is junk. And I've just got my Ulta magazine sitting here because it just came in the mail and they're doing a 21 days of beauty. So like every day something is on sale, something specific, and it's like up to 50% off. So if you guys haven't heard about that, check that out because there might be something in there that you'll want to get. I'm not even going to show you guys the closet because it's, I mean, it's not messy, but it's just a bunch of stuff that's not really interesting. So this right here is my homemade backdrop. You guys saw in the beginning how I made this. I'll try to put all of these stuff in the description box below so that you can purchase it yourself. It took me about a half hour to put up because I wanted to make sure that I could get all the lights positioned. Um, when you step back and look at it, it looks really weird, but when I actually take pictures like up close, they're very randomized. So I really like this idea. I wish that I could move it to a different wall so it could be longer, but you know, I gotta do what I gotta do. I'm working with a small amount of space here. I have a scarf obsession and the only time I wear them is in the fall and the winter. So they half the year they just kind of sit up here and do nothing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video.